funny feet. Hundred feet, three and a half down, nine forward. Five percent. Hundred and five. Okay, seventy five feet. Guys looking good, down a half. Six forward. Sixty seconds. Lights on. Six. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. 30 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. 20. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward just. Good. Okay. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down. Uh, at the foot of the ladder. Yeah, I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. base uh, Houston and you're cleared for takeoff. Eight, seven, six, five, fourth stage, engine arm ascent. Beautiful. Very smooth. Very quiet ride. Good morning, good morning. The future is here, the future is now. It's the 1990s, the start of a brand new decade full of thrills, chills, excitement. So let's hear from one of our regular listeners, the man you all know and love, the man you've all been waiting for, Jason Grant. That you, Phil? You guys must be bored, too. Just doing my job, buddy, keeping tabs on you. We don't want you skipping out and taking the hardware for a joyride. Don't I wish. Listen to us, Phil. I can't believe how routine this whole business has become. Guess you can get used to anything, huh? Say, how about putting Corman on? I got an important question for him. He's here. Hang on. Hey, Chuck. What's the weather like today? You don't want to know. Why torture yourself? What the hell? I'm a masochist. Tell me. Well, high 70s. Nice breeze off the gulf. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, why do you have to tell me? I suppose you got the usual 4 o'clock tee off time at Briarwood. Matter of fact, I do. I want to try out that new three wood. Harp says it'll cut two strokes off my game. No, I can't take any more. I'll bet I can drive the green on that eighth hole. You know, the one where the palm trees block the trap? Enough already. I'm looking out my window right now, and I sure as hell don't see any palm trees. <laughs> you asked for it, buddy. So what do you see? Anything to write home about? Same old thing. Never thought I'd say this. But I've been on this job too long. Guess I'm just starting to realize that. Yeah, but you wanted adventure. High adventure. And you got it. You call this adventure? Come on, I'm a truck driver. Uh, maybe you just need a little time off. A couple of weeks in Mexico when you get back. Lie on the beach, play some golf. I don't know. I gotta do something to liven this place up. probably dreaming about <sighs> food. Hey, Houston, when we get back, Tanner and I are going to organize a campaign to get rid of this freeze-dried crap. What do you think about that? Sorry, Jason. 
We can't have you guys cleaning linguine and clam sauce out of the air filters. But I'm hungry for real food. I'll make a reservation for you at Dimitri's. Now, you better wake up Sleeping Beauty. That wounded bird's coming your way. Can't miss the pickup. Roger, Houston. Will do. Check with you when we got it in the bay. Not bad. Pretty quick. Oh. oh it's just training. Habit. From the old days of carrier duty on the med. Uh, plus, let's face it, clean living. My ass. Oh, and let's not forget youthful energy. You're not as young as you used to be either, buddy. Our best flying days are behind both of us. Ah, yes, but yours are farther behind. But your problem is, you still think you're a fire jock. I bet you even had one of those Top Gun nicknames, right? Aha! Uh -huh. That must be a reason why you never told me. Come on, what was it? Look, I'll even tell you mine first, okay? Einstein. They always said I thought my way out of tough scrapes over Nam. Einstein Grant. Come on, that's an order. Let me hear it. The, uh, the penetrator. <laughs> Come on, look, because I always went the farthest into the target, goddammit. Libya, Tunisia, Lebanon. It was me, pal. I was always first in, last out. The penetrator. I love it. I love you, it. you, sir. SLR is picking up something. It's just another lame duck satellite for the space janitors to collect. Oh, it's too big. Christ, it's nearly a quarter mile off. Quarter mile? Yeah. We're closing fast. Hey, Chuck, are you tracking this? We got it down here now. Sounds OK. Crazy elliptical orbit, way out of the usual satellite tracks. That's why we never picked it up. Well, get us a course projection, quick. I'll pull us out of here if we... No danger to you, Camelot. Flooding shows a comfortable miss. Hold on, we got some conflicting reports. Here we go. I got a scan. Is that what I think it is? I think it is. What the hell have we got here, Jason? Looks like some kind of a ship. Cutting in the cameras, everything we got. OK, I'll tell you what, I'll grab the Hasselblad, do some stills from the port. Yeah, in a minute. I'm going to get us closer. OK, guys, listen up. Copy, Houston. What are your words of wisdom? Here's the story. Object's orbit's coming apart at the seams, decaying fast. It'll be going down real soon. Any chance it might survive re-entry? Watkins here, Colonel. That's a big negative. We'd like to request a volunteer to jump over to it. Not that, for the record. Strictly volunteer. Probably dangerous as hell. What do you say, Ray? You got it. No. Oh, me. You're the command pilot, Jason. You shouldn't be taking risks like that. Bullshit. I'm out the door, Houston. significant infrared it's been cold a long time radioactivity uh, nada just incredible I can't find any other words for it 
This is history. Hey, partner, you see any little green dudes out there? You watch yourself. You don't want to get shot for trespassing. Looks like there's writing of some kind. Any of it look familiar? Strange hieroglyphics. Not like anything I've ever seen before. Coming up on a breach in the hall. Careful, man. Don't get carried away. There's something else in here. I think I can reach it. First thing I've seen that isn't all burned to hell. part of the ship. I'm gonna bring it back. How's our time? Make like Jumpin' Jack Flash. Roger. He's 14,000 years old. That's prehistory. It's also absurd and ridiculous. Well, you all saw the analysis, and we've run the carbon dating a number of times, and always get the same results. No, there's no mistake. He and his ship were on the moon 14,000 years ago. What about that? Well, that's some very tough alloy and uh, hollow inside. We can't seem to open it without destroying it. Dr. Barnes, do you really want me to report to the president that you believe we may have some kind of ancient astronaut here? Well, uh, that's not quite the way I would put it, Mr. Haskell, but that is the general idea. Do you want to see the analysis again? It's not necessary. I do want to copy the printout, though, for my report on your uh, cockamamie theory. What is it with you? You think we're making all this up? It's right out there in front of you, goddammit. Well, Colonel, we have all been around at budget time. There's nothing like a little mystery and space hype to sort of jack up the bucks at NASA. Right, Chuck? <laughs> Come on, you can't be serious. We've just presented you with the facts. I don't believe this guy. I think it's outrageous for you to even suggest that we would try to pull off a hoax, Mr. Haskell. I don't recall accusing you of anything, Doctor. All I know is, is that this sounds a lot like the junk my kid watches on Saturday morning TV. You know, you have a real problem, friend. Forget it, pal. The guy's a jerk. Look, why don't we all just take a break? Relax. Get some coffee. Whatever you say.
Access granted. Replay analysis. Organic remains human. Okay, now let me get this straight. It looks like you're going to tell Washington that we rigged up some kind of elaborate con job, that this whole thing was a ploy to pump up the budget? My report will have to speak for itself. Well, Chuck, I guess we'll have to file our own report with the president's advisory group. It's beginning to look that way. Now, that is going outside of normal channels. Well, we don't really want to do that. We'd rather talk to you. So talk. We have to go back to the moon. Oh, give me a break, Colonel. Look, all the evidence points to some ancient base there. That's got to be important to us. For the knowledge alone, if nothing else. A scientific investigation... Yeah, yeah, right, look. Sure. Be realistic. It's been 20 years since the last lunar mission. Where are you going to find the hardware or the men... Wait a minute. Have... There's one complete Saturn Apollo unit in mothballs down at the Cape. And right here, you got two seasoned astronauts who could be ready to go when that ship is. Hell, I'm ready now. Hey, I don't know, Jason. You've been out of the intensive training loop for a long time now. Oh, bullshit, Chuck. You know I can do it. Well, maybe. But we still need the funding. I'm still listening. The president will react when you tell him what we might find. Great advances in space technology, construction techniques, life support systems, even weaponry. Oh, I doubt there would be any weapons. Why not? No, wait, look, you're trying to suck me in, Grant. I'm just trying to show you what might be waiting for us. Or for somebody else. Of course, you guys know that the Soviets are supposed to attempt a lunar landing within the next two years. Now, look, you can't stampede the president with that kind of talk. It's just a thought. Still, it is a concern. Security, Sergeant Peters. Get a team up to the isolation room. On the double, the body's missing. All right, sit tight.
So what do you think? I think we got him. Nice move, bringing up the Russians. I knew that put a bug up his ass. Why don't you go in for the kill? I'm way ahead of you, partner. I'd like to kill this goddamn machine. Come on! This whole thing has got to go through the proper channels all the way to the Oval Office. I have no problem with that. And until the president makes his decision, it is entirely a national security matter. Strictly need to know. Right. Which is why you need us to fly it. We'll only have to bring in one other outsider. You need an orbiter pilot. Major George Beck. He flies the orbiter while Ray and I go down to the surface. I'll feel better knowing that it's Beck holding the fort until we can link back up for the trip home. So now you're not only making team assignments, but you're also commanding the mission, Colonel? Don't even think of trying this without me. Or me. It's up to the president. But you make the recommendation. I missed out on the moon before. Not this time. here. What is it? Get down to sub-basement 2 with all your men. Corridor 5C. Bring every damn weapon in the place. What's the situation? There's something in the corridor. Something huge. I don't know what the hell it is. Okay, we're out of here. Yeah! Hey, we don't take no shit from a machine. What the hell's going on? Security breach! Intruder in the basement! Stay there! Keep it together! Keep it together! God damn it! Take your positions! communicate with a non-human intelligence. We can't meet it with hostility, with guns. No! Let him go. We mean you no harm. We want to establish a contact. Do you understand?
still undecided. You win, Dad. Old man still got it, huh? Huh? Oh, sure, Dad. All right. You hungry? I'm starving. Burgers and fries? Sounds great. Mom's on some kind of health food kick right now. She's definitely anti-grease. Nothing wrong with that. How's she doing? Still seeing Alan. He just got a new dune buggy to go with the surfboard. And he's getting into bodybuilding. Mom, too. Your mama pumping iron? Well, she says she wants to get in touch with her body. Good for her. So. Grease burgers it is. Just don't tell her, all right? OK. Hello. Oh, hi, Ray. I'm fine. You know, school is school. Yeah, Dad's right here. Just a second. I think he's bombed. Hey, partner, what's up? Come on, take it easy. Damn it, keep your voice down. Look, uh, how about coming over here for a while, all right? I'll pick you up. No, no, I mean it. Just sit tight. I'll be right there. Don't do anything. Don't say anything. OK? <sighs> Shit. What's the problem? I better go get him. He's shooting his mouth off about classified stuff. You okay? Sure, Dad. Why don't you put on that Godzilla movie till I get back? All right. I don't need this. <gasps> All right. Wow. I won't get next to you. That's if you're cut off. Now, come on, Cindy. You know I wouldn't send you to the moon alone. Now, come on, will you just give me one lousy beer? That is lousy beer. Okay. But this is the last one for you, moon man. <laughs> and that goes for your friend, too. For crying out loud, last one. Do you believe that? No respect. America's heroes in space. You got that right, pal. Things are gonna change. Damn straight. You called Jason yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's coming down here to shut me up. Oh, yeah. I knew he'd never come if I just asked him. Sure as hell wouldn't. Sure as... Jason, my man! What is this bullshit? Um, Georgie and me, we got a little something to tell you here, man. Yeah, right. Let's call it a night. Listen, how does fame, fortune, and fast women sound in? Hey. Woo! I'm great. That's a show. Oh, the penetrator. OK, Einstein. How does your picture on the cover of Newsweek sound? We can get you a uh, interview. Interview. Movie. Shit, maybe we can even get you a movie of the week. <laughs> what are you babbling about? It's your boyhood dream, old buddy. The stars are our destination. Ray, give me a break. 
Now I don't have to listen to this guy anymore bitching at me about being too young in the 60s and too old in the 80s. Screw you, old buddy. All right, you remember me telling you about Francine? She worked at the uh, the vehicle assembly plant down at the Cape. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, she was a uh, mud rust. No, that was Arlene. Oh. Francine called me last night. Real hush hush. <laughs> so <laughs> the mission. They're doing it. They're getting ready to light that last big candle, and it's top priority. Christ. Are you sure? Damn sure. They want us to check out the home base of that space dip and that Frankenstein junk pile thing we brought back. They want us to see if there's any more of those things lying around up there waiting to pop open. Boys. We're going to be doing a little search and destroy on the goddamn moon. Yeah! Right. With an earth-shaking roar, not heard in almost two decades. Tell him, Mr. Frank, hey? The mighty Saturn V rocket rises once again from its launch pad into the clear blue Florida skies. <laughs> Go, baby! Anybody call a cab? You know what I always wanted to do? This. Oh. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know why you always wanted to do that. Some hero finally gets to the moon and falls flat on his face. I don't know that I would exactly call that your face that you landed on. Look, let's just hope that that's the worst that happens up here. What's the matter, partner? Getting a little jumpy? Yeah. I don't know about you, pal, but I'm not exactly looking forward to running into another one of those zombie robot things that builds itself out of junk and spare human body parts. Well, that's what we're here for. Fine, next time, he can have your body. <clears throat> Come on, Ray. Loosen up. This does not sound like the famous penetrator. Well, I just want my old F-14 back. Now that baby could fly us out of anything.
why do I feel like we don't know what we're getting ourselves into? Because we don't. Oh. Let's check our link with the orbiter. George, do you read? Copy, Jason. Tracking network now being established. Damn. What's the matter? Ah, oh, I left that frisbee my kid gave me up there. I promised him I'd try tossing it. Got it right here. Wish I could sail it down to you. Son of a bitch. Would have gone for miles. Further than Shepard's well, golf Well, maybe next hall. time. Keep on that heading. You should reach the target in 12 minutes. Copy on that. Stay out of trouble. You might need a fast getaway. Houston, do you read? Argo team is off and rolling. ETA, 12 minutes. With terrain as variable. We copy Argo-1. Maintain full surveillance monitors while you are in range. Copy, Houston. Understood. Don't worry, Chuck. I'm gonna bring him back alive. Out. Incredible sight. Amazing. Look at that ass cracker. What is it? Mica? Ice? Sorry, I can't help it. I'm just a born tourist. You know, you're the kind of guy who would have been admiring the jungle plants in Vietnam during combat. George, do you copy? How's the target look from up there? Should be dead ahead, no sweat. Hey, pal, don't say dead. I didn't know you were so sensitive, Ray. Well, honey. Uh-oh. Gotta leave the rover. What's wrong? Incline's too steep. It'll be okay here. We'll hike it and save the batteries for later. Well? Care to join me? I thought you'd never ask. Jeez. <sighs> After this... I'll be ready to ride again. I'm ready now. Oh, man. No wonder we never saw it from orbit. for us you see anyone else standing around hey what's going on down there a base it is a goddamn base and we're being invited in yeah now who's throwing the party Just incredible. Let's do it. Hold on. We forgot something.
Christ. Guns on the moon. I don't think we're the first ones, pal. Here we go. Some kind of ceremonial hall. Maybe religious. Yeah, weddings. Baptisms. Communions. Bar mitzvahs. Oh, golly. Revivals. Harmonic convergences. Human sacrifices. What do you think? Never mind. I know what you think. Woman. I wonder who she was. And why she's in here. Don't let her go. Look, goddammit, we're human. Can you speak to us? Can you tell us your name? What am I doing? She doesn't know. 
Jason. Jason. That's a real nice name. Ray. All right. It was a very long time ago, Mira. We got you, Argo One. Thank God. Listen, check out the lander right away. It seems to be moving. Half the status transmissions are out. What about the surprise package? That's still operative, but nearly everything else shows malfunction. Get back there. That's your ride home. Yeah, but what about her? I don't know. You can't just leave her here. Wait a minute. That thing's actually supposed to work after all these centuries? She seems to think so. Who are you guys talking about? What's going on down there? Fill you in on the way back, George. Stand by. Returning to the landing site, Houston. They found something or someone. We don't know what the hell we're dealing with here. I'm transmitting high-speed scramble. Copy Argo 1, standing by. And I wish to hell I wasn't sitting on my ass. Maybe these Kalium are tools or even weapons that got out of control. Hell, maybe they're aliens. Only Mira can tell us. Yeah, once she learns how to talk. Argo team, do you read me? Can't you hotshots get any more juice out of that thing? Oh, now they want speed. George, what's our position? Got you three minutes from the landing site. You should be able to see the lander. We don't see a thing. Check your readings. Readings nominal. Oh, shit. 
It's gone. Kalium. You know, those Kalium are really starting to bug me. I can relate to that. There's tracks all over the place. We should be able to follow them. Let's go. This thing's not going to make it much farther. I think the batteries are just about shot. That's it. Auxiliary? No, I kicked it in way back there. Okay, Einstein. What next? We walk. Walk. Why didn't I think of that? She must be wondering what we're doing. I'm wondering what we're doing. Jason, Ray, got the lander in sight? Not yet. Just a lot of tracks. If you don't find that thing, you're all in big trouble. I hate when you exaggerate, George. We're not ready to set up permanent housekeeping here. Now we know what these Kalium have been doing for the past 14,000 years. Yeah. Looks like they're getting ready to move out. You stay here and cover my back. My ass. You're not going to go up against something like that alone. Now, wait a not minute. Not this time. I'm going with you. OK, partner. Let's do it. Thanks, Mira. 
And back home, we'd say that you saved my ass. It looks like our space hero here is uh, falling on his face again. <laughs> Get you home. You're gonna be okay. Hey. No, I think you. Shut up. No. Bullshit now. Oh, buddy. I'm not going anywhere. Screw you. You're gonna make it. Cargo team, McDonald's. Are you guys all right? We were attacked. Raise her. I'll get back to you. I've got a problem here, too. Nothing seems to be working. All the instruments are functioning, but the orbiter's not responding. Something pulling me out of orbit. I'm going down. It's breaking what? up. Stay with it. Try to fire the retros against the pole. No use, Jason. My God. Argo One, this is Houston. The nature of problem. Please respond. What situation? Your right. George, just our link up score. Remember one thing. What's that? We well, don't. Jake, no shit. From a machine. <laughs> right? Jason. Right? Right? Wait for me. No shit. <laughs> when I need you the most. Always the goddamn easy way out. You know what I think? Thank, damn it, thank.
should have seen the danger. I should have listened to Corman. Let someone else go. Someone. Someone. Younger. Must have been crazy to go up against that ship. I blew it. I blew it. Ray's dead. Mira. I woke you up. Just so you could die with me. God, Ray, what they did to you. If those things get to Earth, one way or another, I've got to stop them.
That's what happened to your people. Maybe with a little time we can get out of here. We don't take no shit from a machine. Here's the way out. Seems like they never learn. Go for main engine start. Seven, six, we have main engine start. Three, two, one, zero. We have liftoff for intercept mission. Intrepid has cleared the tower. Mark, 10 seconds intrepid and looking good. Main engine sequencing confirmed. Roger, Houston. Getting a little bumpy here. Stand by, pitch over an MDP. We have pitch over. Encountering MDP. Throttling back. All right. That smooths out the road considerably. Confirmed, Intrepid. You are lofting a bit early. At mark two minutes, you are go for SRB-7. Roger, Houston. Standing by for seven. Booster separation at mark five seconds. Houston. We have SRV SEP. Feels good. SEP confirmed. At mark 2 minutes 50 seconds, you are go for Miko. Roger for Miko. Looks good, Intrepid. Houston, we have Miko. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Go get him, Intrepid. So far, so good. If we can reach the ship's core, we should be able to cruise right down the whole length. This is it. Zero gravity. I hope. Mira, come on. 
Come on. All right, hang on. Now just hang on. It's an all-out invasion force. Status intrepid. Prepare to intercept. Insertion complete, Houston. We're here. Now, where's that ship? Still about 10,000 kilometers out. Coming right at you. Keep your fingers on the trigger. Roger, Houston. I'm getting something now. Confirmed. My God. got one up. Thanks anyway, guys. It's the lander. The last piece of equipment they needed to complete this ship. And they waited 14,000 years for us to bring it. Missiles armed, but I don't know if we've got enough punch to stop that. Well, you're all we've got, Intrepid. Don't miss. Intrepid's gone. Report status, Intrepid. No damage. Intrepid, can you still engage? Too far for our missiles. We're goddamn sitting ducks. I wish you could have met my son, Mira. I wish. Surprise, surprise. It's over.
You have Delta IV authorization to fire. But we're now getting readings that the lander may be inside that thing, and it's possible so are Grant and Tanner. If you do not receive confirmation, you are to fire at your discretion. Do you acknowledge, Intrepid? Do you acknowledge, Intrepid? Acknowledge. contractors. Flying star. That's falling star. But why falling? Stars cannot fall. Just a figure of speech. Like all the other phrases you heard tonight that don't make sense. Don't worry about it. It's so hard. Phrases, figure of speech. It's been difficult for me. Jason, when I was chosen to carry the warning, I said no. I wanted to stay, maybe even to die. I know. But it was my duty. But it is all over now, and I am glad to be with you. Yes, it's over.
monitor station, Watkins. Phil, buddy. Glad I caught you. Jason Grant here. Hello, Jason. Listen, I wonder if you could do me a favor. On the back channel, no record, okay? If I can. I want to know if you guys have been tracking any debris from the Kalium ship. Listen, like we told you before, after you blew that thing, there wasn't anything left. <laughs> I know, I know. I just thought maybe... It's been so many months, you might have picked up something. Look, we got a tag on every piece of junk up there. Anything else would have burned up. You know that, right? Forget about it. Right. Sure. Sorry to bother you. No problem, Jason. Be talking to you. Yeah. You will be.